Hey, what's up? So yeah, today we are going to dive into the Moondust VR experience with, of course, the Valve Index controllers. It's going to be fantastic. This is a demo that is set in the Portal universe, by the way. So if you are a big fan of the Portal franchise, then this is definitely a must play. In this title, there is a problem that needs to be solved because with the moon-based conversion gel stores running dangerously low, Aperture decided to look beyond the stars for a new source of the infamous Bartle Conductor. It's up to you to help them out by going all the way to the moon and do all kinds of crazy tests. So yeah, I am totally ready for this one. Now it's time to give it a try and jump right into the metaverse. Let's -a go! Welcome to the Moon Dust Experiments, a place that is full of secrets and surprises. A wonderful place where you can test your Valve Index controllers to their full potential. This is going to be amazing. I hope you are going to join me on this epic journey into the future. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's first of all pick one of these destinations on the map. I think we should travel to the shooting range. So let's uh, go there righty tighty now. And we have arrived at the test facility itself. And over here you can hang out with your co-workers. A bunch of aliens dressed up as astronauts. <laughs> Seems uh, totally legit, but they are very, very adventurous. Let me, let me show you what I'm talking about here. So let's start with these grenades. You can activate uh, these uh, grenades by squeezing the controllers and then you are all set there you go <laughs> and these uh, these aliens can't be harmed they always jump back out of a portal it's weird but that's the way they revive themselves come on I want to I want to go for the green for the middle the bullseye yes whoop, whoop. there's also one up there but that's for the for the grenade launcher. That looks like a like a portal portal gun. So this is not going to work out as you can see. But there is this machine that allows you to mess around with the gravity. Now try again. It's hard to aim with this uh, with this gun. You have to find the right angle, and then, before you know it, you hit it right in the kisser. That's it. Beautiful. Hey, 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 Don't come too close, I warn you. Now the next question is, can I catch my own grenades? I don't think so. No, but at least I tried for science, right? <laughs> it's raining grenade thieves! Watch out! Get down! Get down! Get back to the rocket! <laughs> yeah, so that's the grenade launcher. It always comes back to its uh, station. You see? That's what I call magic right there. Bam! What you can also play around with is this uh, ball, this ball that you can squeeze and it's, it's super satisfying. You can actually feel, feel it too, because the haptics in these controllers are extremely accurate. Oh, that's the most farce I can add. To my uh, index controllers. Come on. Go get it. Go get it. Oh. <laughs> They're playing soccer. Space soccer. The best uh, thing you can play around with are these mini turrets. And they allow you to take control over your, uh, your co-workers. You simply have to throw it amongst them and oh, it will take control over one of the aliens. It will suck itself to its brain and then the rest 
will follow, as you can see. That's it. <laughs> and they, they always want this. They always want to chase it. It's behind the uh, anti-gravity machine. Ah yes, you found it. Congratulations. Okay, so there you have it. That's, uh, that's the, the throwing range slash shooting range. It's, it's a mix of both, but super uh, duper uh, cool. Anyways, now it's time to travel to the next location. Let's go to the part where you can shoot a rocket to planet Earth. Sounds like a plan to me. Ta-da! So, there's the rocket, there's the planet we are going to, and this is the machine that is going to power everything up. So this, this machine, it eats moon rocks that are right behind me. And uh, yeah, let's uh, feed it some. The bar is slowly filling itself up. That's good. Squeeze. I think we need uh, three more. Oh, that's a big chunk. That should do the trick. Okay, okay. The last one. Watch me go. See you later. Bye bye. Elon Musk would be proud. And that's it. That's the uh, objective. Let this machine eat moon uh, rocks for breakfast. Yeah. If you want, you can now go to one of the other uh, destinations. But there is still one thing that I do want to show off. You can destroy moon bases. You have to shake that, that rock and make it pop. If you can work with the way the moon works, of course. I keep on missing. What the heck? Oh, yes, got it. So this mine keeps on going, it never stops. You can have as many moon rocks as you want. Shake and pop. Woo! Can we hit that moon buggy as well? Yep. You know what, let's, let's go to the to the racetrack now and uh, control one of those with an actual remote. Yeah, let's go to the racetrack. So I have to eat this bubble. This right here is my favorite demo of all the moon dust experiments because you can control these buggies. And uh, the orange one is the fastest. It's going all over the place. And as you can see, there is a alien behind the invisible steering wheel. So what do you expect? And then the white mixed with blue is a little slower compared to the orange buggy, but both of them have their pros and, uh, and cons. Let's start off with the orange devil. And it went right into the barrier. It will always respawn in the end. It jumps out of a portal like it's like it's nothing. Let's see if we can catch up with this ramp on the on the right. Yeah, you can also teleport in this experience so you never miss out on the action. Very handy. Whee! <laughs> oh, I think we can catch it. Let's try if we can. Yes! 
gotcha. <laughs> This one drifts like a bouse. I wish I could play this with a friend, but as far as I know, the Moondust demos are single player only. Whoa! Oh, that was sick! That was so sick! Let's do a race. The looper, to be more precise. Wish me luck. Yes, yes, I got this. Oh, one more and finish. I'm on place 52. Whoa, that leaderboard makes me cry. <laughs> yeah, poor me. Okay, okay, okay. Just break from time to time. That's that's all I'm saying. That's the only tip I can really give you. Oh, no, 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 no. What am I doing? Get out of my way! Oh, oh man, these turns. Got it, got it, got it, got it! Woo! 30 seconds! Place 27. So, before we head out of here, I want to play one more game mode, and that is the elimination one. In where you have to kill as many Joe Jeffs as possible. So, let's give it a try. Ready? A uh, yes. Oh! <laughs> what a landing. Let's slow it down a little bit so we don't crash all the time. It's kind of annoying. Oh, come on, come on. Yes. Oh. You can't respawn in this one, so. Oh, that was sick. <laughs> Drifting definitely helps as well. So you have a bigger range. Surprise! <laughs> oh, how they run away. <laughs> I feel so bad. You just gotta find those groups, right? And then just go for it. Oh! 39! The world record is 62. Whoa, I'm on place 8? Oh, finally! Finally, something I'm good at. Whew, okay, well, try to beat that, huh? Wasn't, wasn't too bad. So let's exit the race, and um, yeah, let's, let's get out of here. I'm going to open up the map, and I'm going to select the last scene. There we go. So in this demo, you can build your own space station. Can grab all these uh, components and then start start building. It's very cool. Oh, hello. I'm going to put you on the front here. <laughs> Aww. And then I will be using this big part. On the back, if I can. Yes. Sweet, sweet. This is going to be a crazy station. I also need scanners and beacons boop, boop, boop. and some power Ooh. 
So let's say you're not completely happy with what you build, then you can also delete certain parts by using this, this gun, this eraser. So you can tweak it as much as you, uh, as you like. But I'm, I'm satisfied. This is my glorious creation. With this, I would be able to go to, to Mars. Yes. So there is an Easter egg in here, a hidden secret, one of the most awesome ones of the entire moon dust experience. But you gotta wait patiently. Yes. It should be somewhere over here. But right now, I can't find it. Hello? Are you here? Show yourself if you can. Oh! There we go. There we go. into my soul <laughs> and there is a ginormous Joe Jeff flying by ah oh, there is so much to see and there is so much to do and that was the moon dust VR experience I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, this video if you did then be sure to give it a big thumbs up lets me know you care and as I said before this demo is completely free I will make sure there is a link in the description below. Moondust is one of those titles that you can play all by yourself, but it's also a fun demo to show to others that want to try the Valve Index, because it's really taking the Index controllers to the next level. It's showing off what they are capable of, and that's great. So yeah, uh, again, link will be in the description below. And now it's time for me to, well, sign off, and as I always say, and I see you all, next time. See you in the Metaverse. Bye-bye. See ya later.